I'll show you how you can germinate seeds to use in your phlogponic setup. This way, you stay in control of the whole process of growing your plants, from planting the seed to harvesting the fruits. You could, of course, just buy the seedlings from the store, but you never know if they use pesticides or not. And of course, doing it yourself is a whole lot more fun. This is everything you'll need to get started. First of all, you'll need some seeds. Next, you'll also need some toilet paper or paper towels, and a pair of tweezers or any other tool to pick up the individual seeds. This is my homemade greenhouse. It's made from two plastic food trays and a piece of duct tape. You could also buy a greenhouse from the store, but those cost a lot more. Lastly, you'll need a plant spray, filled with regular water. First, place some paper towels on the bottom of your greenhouse. Cover it in about two to three layers of paper. Next, spray it with some water until the paper is damp. We don't want to drown the seeds, so just a couple of sprays should be enough. Now, prepare your working space by laying down some paper towels on which you can drop some seeds from the packet. Carefully pick up the seeds and place them in the greenhouse, evenly spaced. It's best to start with some more seeds than you are planning to use in your system as there are almost always some seeds that grow slower than the rest. By using more seeds than you need plants, you can select only the strongest and fastest growing, so you'll have the best plants possible. Finally, cover the seeds with some paper towel and spray it again with some water. Close the greenhouse and put it somewhere dark and relatively warm. You don't want to expose the seeds to extreme heat or cold, as this could stress them and make for weaker plants. About 7 days later, we're ready for the next step. Take the seeds back out and prepare the medium of your choice. I'll be using cocos pellets, as it's a cheap and easy to use substrate with great properties for a phlogponic setup, but you could use any hydroponic medium you like. The principles demonstrated in this video should be the same for any substrate. These cocoa pellets are made up of the husks of used coconut shells, and as you can see, they come with a small pre-made hole for the seeds. Position the cocoa pellets evenly spaced in the other lid of the greenhouse. Now hydrate the pellets using a syringe and some water. Slowly drip the water on top of a pellet and watch it grow as the water saturates the cocos fibers. These pellets can grow up to 6 times in size. Keep adding water until you see water starting to leak from everywhere. This means the pellet cannot hold any more water and is ready for use. Do the same with the remaining pellets. When all of your pellets are saturated, pour a little extra water in the bottom of the lid. This will keep the pellets well saturated, even when the seedlings are draining water out of the pellets. Using a pair of tweezers, make sure the hole in the top of the pellets is deep enough. Next, carefully place the germinated seeds in the pellets. Select only those seeds that have germinated and that have a healthy appearance. Slightly compress the top of the pellet after placing the seedling in the hole so it won't fall out. Throw away the remaining seeds and the paper towels, and close the greenhouse again. Place it in a warm and well-lit place, for example together with your other plants. Regularly check if there's enough water at the bottom of the lid, and watch the seedlings grow. When you see the first pair of true leaves appear, the seedlings are ready for transplantation. True leaves are the second set of leaves to appear after germination, and look different from the first pair of leaves. Rinse some clay pellets in some water and put about a handful of it at the bottom of a net cup. Select a big and strong looking seedling and place it in the middle of a net cup. Continue filling the net cup with clay pellets until it is full. The weakest plants can be thrown away. Once all the plants have been transplanted to their net cups, place them in your phlogponic system and you're ready to go.
And that's all there is to it. If you have any questions, comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comments below. Thanks for watching.